Greetings and welcome to the Wealth for Real YouTube channel. I'm your host, Christopher Anastasio. It is Friday, November 3rd, 2023, and I just wanted to call your guys' attention to this website, the Peter G. Peterson Foundation website, and its discussion of, at the time, the $33 trillion national debt. Uh, so basically, guys, um, I was just kind of doing some digging around. I'm, I'm always working on understanding better the implications of the things like the debt and the deficit and the interest and the blah, 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 and the, you know, this and that. I'm always kind of trying to get better with that because uh, one of the things I noticed when I'm arguing for uh, the fact that the debt is a bad thing is that I'm often hit with things like, well, we owe most of it back to ourselves and we owe most of it back into a trust fund and it's really not a big deal and all this stuff. And I'll be perfectly frank with you guys. I don't know very well how to defeat that argument. I'm not saying it's, it's a correct argument. I'm not saying it's a good argument. I'm just saying I don't really know how to, how to, how to nullify that argument either way, whether it was the right, whether it was right or was wrong or this or that is just something that I just need to do more uh, education about and understanding. And while I was doing that, I came across this and really thought it was worth sharing with you guys. Um, and I'm just going to go quickly through an infographic, it should be a short video, but um, about the national debt. So there's some introduction here. Uh, you see right here, high and rising debt matters because it threatens our economic future. Coronavirus pandemic rapidly accelerated it, but blah, blah, blah. We were already on a bad path. So take a look at this, guys. National debt surpassed 33 trillion. Again, this was about, you know, a month and a half ago. We know it's already way over that. And check this out, guys. 33 trillion. Uh, combined value of the economies of China, Japan, Germany, India, and United Kingdom. Pretty staggering. Uh, $252,000 a household or nearly $100,000 per person. Uh, if every household contributed 1000 a month, it would take 21 years or 2044 to pay it off. Um, 33 trillion is enough to cover a public four-year degree for every graduating U.S. high school student for 103 years. So that kind of speaks to like um, threatening uh, future investment and things like that. Um, Within 10 years, federal government will spend more on interest payments than it traditionally has on research, development, infrastructure, education combined. So it's basically by 2033, the interest, not the debt, the interest would exceed these four, these three major areas, R&D, infrastructure, and education. Spending $2 billion a day on interest payments on the debt, that's gone up since then, uh, since the, because the interest rates went up and the debt went up. Uh, and there's still time to adjust course. So I thought this was really interesting, guys. And I think, you know, the one thing, the theme that came back to me when I was searching around, like, well, you know, what does it mean that we owe the debt to ourselves? Isn't it still bad that we're in debt, even if we owe it to ourselves? The thing that keeps coming up, guys, is the interest, right? We, Yes, we may owe that debt back to ourselves, but you have to pay interest on that debt. You can't act like it doesn't exist. It does exist. And you have to pay interest on it. And when you pay interest on it, that is a line item in the budget. So that means in the United States fiscal budget, there is a line item that's very, very large that is simply going towards paying interest. It's not going to R&D. It's not going to um, infrastructure. It's not going to education. It's not going to defense. It's just going back towards the debt and the interest owed on it. So I think that's the key point. I think that's you know where when people are like, I think personally, that's that's how I plan to sort of argue that point. Uh, and you guys may feel the same or have, have a better way of doing it. But when somebody says, well, we owe two thirds of it, I think the number is roughly about two thirds. We owe two thirds of it back to ourselves. Well, that's great. Hopefully we pay it back one day. But the point is, the real point is, the interest on that debt is not insignificant. It is a big budget line item and it crowds out other budget line items. So there you go, guys. So I posted this uh, on the Facebook page. If you just come down here, you'll see it, second one down. Actually, a previous video I made is about this article about the uh, ProPublica tax returns. And then you see here um, the national debt thing that I just went over and posted there as well. So you guys check that out. Would love to hear what you guys think about it. Would love to hear your arguments for, against, this or that, uh, and, and what you think about the Peter G. Peterson uh, page right here. Plus the whole, I mean, the Peter G. Peterson resource as a whole is great. I think Peter G. Peterson uh, was a co endorser, funder, producer, whatever you want to call it, of the uh, IOUSA documentary that came out in 2008, if I believe, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, IOUSA was kind of about this whole thing with the, with the debt and stuff like that as well. Uh, so I, I believe they were involved in that. So hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out and, uh, and listening to this. And uh, really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Hope everybody has a great weekend. We'll talk to you guys soon.